morning, everybody. Good morning, Nick. Imagine that you have only five minutes to present your great idea to a room full of people using only 20 slides that advance all by themselves every 15 seconds. This is what an Ignite presentation is all about. I'm going to explain to you a little bit about how Ignite presentations are made and why they are an ideal format for your next Toastmasters presentation. The Ignite slides are generally very, um, they have bold pictures, they have simple graphs, and very minimal text. They're not like other slides you might, have, might be familiar with. What we do in an Ignite presentation is we start with a topic, then we write a script, and then we design our slides. It is my hope that once you see how the Ignite presentation format works, that you will consider doing one for your next presentation here at Toastmasters. What do you talk about? Anything you like, things you're passionate about. I, I love coffee, I like my dog, I like camping, I like scouts. Something that really jazzes you and that you're energetic about. But not everything lends itself to an Ignite presentation. Very technical presentations, things like finance, things about engineering, probably are too complicated to achieve a successful Ignite presentation in the five minutes you get. You start with an outline. The outline is not created in PowerPoint because you don't want to work yet on your visuals. It's just the basic building blocks of a good story. And you would do this in some text editing software. After you're done with your outline, then you write a script. You can either write a script in text editing software or you can open up PowerPoint and make 20 blank slides and type your script on the slides, whichever works best for you. After you've got your script on the slides, it is time to practice. PowerPoint enables you to record your slide times so that you can see how long it takes for you to get through each slide. Right now, for the first try, it's just a benchmark. After you find out what your times are, it's time to be an editor. Some of your slides will be too short, some of them will be too long. So you're going to have to cut, paste, delete, and move text around to make sure you have 15 seconds per slide. This is part of the editing process that is very important to Ignite because you really want to focus on what is important in your presentation. This format prevents you from going off on tangents or talking about irrelevant subjects. Something that I like to do is I like to put my script into the speaker notes of my presentation. That way I can practice them using the presenter view and get a little a, a sense of what goes where. Now the fun part begins. It's time to create your Ignite presentation. You want to avoid the urge to put a lot of text and details on the slide. Just stick with big pictures and broad graphs and graphics. An Ignite presentation is definitely not a teleprompter like this one. You don't put everything you're going to say on the slides because they're supposed to be a backdrop to what you're talking about. They're not the star of the show. But some people do like to animate the slides as long as it goes automatically or to use video or audio elements, but they have to be quiet while they're going. Don't get carried away because you're probably looking at that screen instead of paying attention to me. You're supposed to pay attention to the speaker. Once you've designed your slides, it's time to practice, practice, practice until you are smoothly able to match your slide transitions to what you're going to say. It is a very demanding format, but it can be very rewarding as well. Once you've practiced, you've got the timing down, it is showtime. Time to take your Ignite on the road. Ignite presentations are uniquely suited to Toastmasters because we have to present within five to seven minutes most of the time. This is a really good way to be able to concentrate on the important parts of your message. Remember, when you are practicing, you might want to allow for audience reaction in case you say something especially poignant or funny. I hope that I have given you some good reasons to do an Ignite presentation. And those of you who are earlier here understand that if you do a presentation like this, you should show up early because if you have any technical issues to deal with, you want to make sure that they're taken care of. That was a lot of information in five minutes. So if you want more information about how you can create your own Ignites, please email me or see me after the meeting. This is a wonderful way to cheat death by PowerPoint, and I hope I've inspired you to Ignite your next presentation. Thank you very much.